Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another real-time sketching walkthrough. And if you end up enjoying this one, make sure to check out my Patreon. I do real-time videos every month on there and the link to that will be on the description. And also if you want to see the reference photo for this one, it will be in my reference board on my Pinterest and I will leave a link to that in the description as well. So we're just gonna start for now and just like always we're starting with a sphere and this is one of the more important things to remember when you're drawing a head. It's a very round top of the skull and then beside it is just a flat surface so what we're gonna do is draw a circle and then also maybe just do a cross in between to represent that this is a flat surface and then we're gonna draw the ear starting from the middle of that cross and that will be the upper part of the skull. What we're gonna do now is draw a line that's going down the center of the face and this will just give us an idea of where to center the face later on. You see right here if you divide that main sphere in half the chin would end at around the same length and we're just gonna really quickly draw in the the curve of our jaw starting from that ear and then we're just gonna connect that all the way to the chin too. And then I'm just slowly starting to mold out her face just so we can have a good starting point. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to vaguely resemble the shape of the head. And once you have that, it's now easier for us to just draw in the neck. Again, very quickly, just you just need to see where they are positioned in relation to the ear and the chin for the other one. And then I'm just gonna really quickly draw in the color of her shirt and her shoulders too. And again, this is very rough. I just need to make sure that I'm looking at the silhouettes that they're making more than more than getting it to be super accurate at this point. And then when it comes to drawing in the hair, depends on how much volume you think it is lifted from the head. You see right here that I'm just sketching it out to be a little bit fuller than the head because after that I'll be covering most of it with the hat too. And again, I'm more focused on the silhouette that all of these elements will make. Now it's time for us to start with her face and what we're gonna do first is extend that cross to go across her face and this will be a really good basis for the eye line and then we're gonna extend another line from where that circle and the ear ends and this time this will be where we put in the nose just gonna put in this rough triangle as a placeholder for her nose lightly protrudes out from where the side of her face ends and once that's there what they're gonna do is make sure that we're using how broad the nose is as reference to where we're gonna place her eyeballs so for this one it's just slightly to the side of where the nostril ends and for the right one it's just sitting off to the side just make sure that we're still on top of that eyeline and once i've had that it's then easier for me to roughly draw in the shape of her eyebrows just want to make sure that they're framing her eyes in a similar way to the reference photo before we move on to the mouth line so this one should be cutting through the very center of where her nose and her chin ends so doesn't have to be perfect at all, just make sure that the very center is still following the center line of her face that we put in before too. And then very lightly also just shaping out her chin. So now that we've had all of these placeholders for her features, what we're now going to do is shape them into looking more like the photo. So the first thing to do is her eyes and just want to make sure that her eyelids are draped across the eyeballs in a similar way. You can see that it's a very slooped down shape for the upper one and then very rounded off to the side because we're looking at it from the side before it goes in again to the next corner. We also don't want to forget the folds of our eye bags. And the same thing with the upper eyelid. We just want to make sure that both of these are shaping across the eyeball in a natural looking way. And then we're going to flesh out her eyebrows more. For now, we're just making sure they're a little bit fuller. And then once that's done, we're going to draw out her side silhouette more, starting from her forehead. And I'll be going down to her nose. And before anything else for it, I'm just slightly putting in this little circle for the very tip of her nose. 
I don't want to forget where it's facing before I go in with her nostril. And since we're looking at it from the side, it should be a little bit longer than usual. And the other one we can't see at all. And make sure right now that the rest of the structure is right before going back again to the rest of her side profile and, and then flashing out her lips while we're there. So what's really important is the center of her mouth and where it ends. I also want to show how we can see her bottom lip is fuller and it goes off to the side of her face more than the upper one. But after that I can see that her chin was going out more than I intended so just slightly correct that for now. And then I'm just darkening up her jaw which I was already happy with the shape of them. And then we're going to take a step back and look at the overall picture again when we draw in her hair. So more than anything at this point is we want to look at it as one big mass and we want to make sure that it's draped across her face and her head in a way that we're satisfied with before we go in with the details and shading it out. And once that's roughly on there, I'm now gonna reshape her neck because I think it was a little bit thicker than I intended. So yeah, just make sure that these lines are darker so that we can see them more than my initial layer of the sketch. And the neck really shaped it out a lot because it's a very zoomed in sketch. I think that the neck is very essential to getting the pose right so I wanted to make sure that it was placed in the right way and also that her clothes are draping across her shoulders and also her neck in a way that I'm satisfied with too. So while I'm looking at the whole thing I also think that it needs a little bit more volume to her hair and to her hat so we're gonna lightly reshape that too. But once everything has its own place what we're now going to do is draw out her glasses. The easiest way for me to do this is to lightly mark out where the key points of her glasses are. So where the frames meet the lenses, I want to make sure that it's in the same place as in the photo before I then connect the dots. And for her lenses, just make sure that their size is right. And this right one especially that it's sitting just in the right place that it should be because it is away from her face. And so now I'm zooming you guys in again to draw in her irises and since just looking off to the side, I don't really see much of it. And once that's done too, what I'm now going to do is take my kneaded eraser and I'm just lightly lifting off some of the first layers of the sketch before I go in again with a sharper pencil and adding more details to the drawing. And I'm starting with the eyebrows. I wanted to make sure that I'm drawing those strands right and also that they're sitting in the right way on the face because they are very important to the overall shape of the sketch. I don't want to get them wrong. And once I'm satisfied with that, I'm then gonna darken up the second layer of the sketch. Really just make sure that I haven't lost some of the details from the kneaded eraser, especially the shape of her eye bags and her brow bone right here. Very important to her side profile. And her nose, I wanted to get that slightly upturned tip of it in the right way. Uh, I'm going to make sure that her nostril is as dark as I want it and also the same with the other details of the nose. I do think this time right here is a little bit too dark so I just erased that and also made sure that the shape of that shadow is falling in the right way above her lip. And then I'm also just going to lightly shade in her lip right here because I like shading lips in more than drawing the outline. I think it's more natural. With the rest of 
the outline of her chin that is what I wanted to emphasize so that's why I'm making this lines darker and I'm going back into her right eye this time and I'm making sure that I'm getting this very rounded side of her eyeball right here before going in with the rest of the shape of her eyes also making sure I'm emphasizing her upper eyelid right here before lightly drawing out her iris and making sure again that it's not too big for the angle that she's looking away from. Before again cementing the shape of her glasses. So since the sketch is all done, what we're now gonna do is start with the shading. I'm using the side of my pencil right here to lightly add in this initial darker value for her hair. More than anything, we want to separate it from her face and her hat really. And then we're emphasizing the darker shadows between her jaw and her ear too. Just slightly shaping them out while we're there. And then going back into the rest of her hair right here. I am already making sure that different elements to the hair are shaded in a different direction so we're, we already have that separation for it and then when I'm shading in her hat I want to make sure that it's a little bit lighter than her hair so those two don't blend into each other. And then once that's done we're gonna go in with her neck first and just make sure that you're holding your pencil very lightly right here and you're holding it on its side so that your shading is light because this is the very first pass of that shading. Some shadows may be darker so just slightly add a little bit more pressure but overall we want this first layer of the shading to be a lot lighter than the rest. So now we're gonna zoom in on her nose and this went by very fast but that's because I'm making sure that my pencil is just very lightly scratching across that paper and I'm making sure that it's not dark at all. And again it's very light so going across her cheek and her nose and a little bit of her forehead but I want to make sure that I'm leaving out the very edge of that forehead so there's room for the highlight. While I'm erasing that too, I'm just likely going to redo her eyebrow and make sure that her forehead is more rounded out than before. So this time we're going to add the second pass of the shading on her hair. And the first thing we should do is make sure that we're adding more of that shading for the darker parts of her hair. And also this time too, we want to make sure that while we're shading, we're already starting to follow the flow of her hair strands. And that it's a darker value than the rest so make sure now to add a little bit more pressure to your pencil but again leave enough room for the even darker shadows that we need to add in for later. And then I'm doing the same thing for her bun right here. It's a little bit darker even than on her head but since the hair over there is very compact, I think it makes sense. And then what we're going to do after is make sure that we're adding more dimension to the shadows here on her neck. Because once that's done, what I'm doing is the forbidden technique. <laughs> Just using my fingers to smudge out the shading that we've put in. I don't officially recommend this, but I do this a lot for my sketches. But if you have blenders, definitely use those. I just see myself using my fingers a lot because it's easier. After evening out a lot of the shading with my finger, what I'm now going to do is bring back the darker shadows starting with her lips and then just making sure that we're adding enough contrast, especially right here where her neck meets her shirt. I want to add more dimension to those areas. Just really overall where the shadows are the darkest, I'm starting my shading from there. And then for her face, I'm focusing on her eyes first, making sure that I'm shaping them out with the proper amount of shadows, especially her eyeball. I don't want that to be fully white. It's really likely adding dimension to these areas. And right here, right above her upper eyelid, I'm going to add more shading to that too. 
and doing the same thing once again for her eyebrows because they are very important and then going back in with her glasses too and then going back in with the rest of the details of her silhouette before going in with her nose and adding the very lightest touch of shading to it and I'm emphasizing how light these pencil strokes are I want to make sure that I'm adding the right amount of structure to her nose it is one of the most important part of her features so I want to get it right I also want to make sure I'm adding enough of the details of her glasses I don't want to lose any of those two and then after that it was just a matter of finalizing some of these details of her eyes and her glasses adding in more of the hair strands of her eyebrows and then maybe adding more shading to her cheeks and her neck while i'm there Over here too, under her nose, I want to make sure that I add in that strip of highlight where that groove meets her cupid's bow. Before going back again to the darkest shadows for neck where it meets her shirt, I want to make sure that they're dark enough for the rest of the darker shadows that we've put in for her face. I want to make sure that these values are catching up to each other. So we're doing the same things for her color right here. I'm also just quickly adding in this detail to her coat. It's very fast and I'm not sure about its accuracy. I just want to make sure that it has similar kinds of impressions that her coat is making in the photo. But once I'm done with that, I am then going to go back to her face and just outlining now the darkest parts of it. And this will be the very final touches of my drawing, making sure that I'm adding the final hair strands for her hair and that the darker parts of her hair catches up to the rest of the values in the sketch. The very last thing that I changed is her forehead. I erased out some parts of the shading so that it will look more rounded out. But after that, I will be done with my sketch. So that'll be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching, thank you to my patrons for supporting me and I will be seeing you guys again soon.